Solar Decathlon is a competition sponsored by the Department of Energy in which 20 schools from around the world are asked to participate based on lengthy proposals that we submit about a year in advance. Um, so there are teams ranging from places in Canada, um, Puerto Rico, Madrid, Germany, and the United States. Uh, Santa Clara University is the only team from California in the competition, and was in 2007 actually. We were asked to participate first in 2007, and this is now the 2009 competition, so the competition is held approximately every two years. Um, the competition is held in Washington, D.C. in October of this year. And um, so we're actually on the construction site right now getting ready um, to start building and kind of making our design come to life. The goal of the competition is uh, to build an 800 square foot approximate um, solar powered house. So the house has to be completely solar powered, energy efficient, um, it's got to have the top state of the art uh, technology but also design integrated into the architecture of the home. We submit these proposals that are professional proposals, um, they're huge, um, and they basically state why you think you should be involved in the competition and what can your team bring that's different from every other team to the competition. So being the only team from California in 2007 really helped us because we were known as the Cinderella team. Um, we had to face numerous challenges. We were the smallest school, only school without an architecture team. Um, we broke our truck axles going down to Washington, D.C. And um, after all of this, we even came in third place. So that helped us a lot for the 2009 proposal. Um, and the 2009, basically, we you know were chosen because we were in it in 2007, because we performed so well, and because we brought so many different things to the table, being from California. Um, California focuses on this new green movement, this revolution, and um, we're able to kind of optimize for that and say, you know, we support the green revolution and we can do everything we can possibly do as students to um, optimize this technology and this architecture and kind of bring them together in an integrated form. The competition is actually in October, so we are starting construction today, and today is the beginning mark for us. We're expecting to be done with construction around June um, of this summer, and then we're going to optimize for the competition in uh, the rest of the summer, and then we're going to pack up and move to D.C. in September and hope to arrive around the mall about September 28th. Basically, it's a prefab home um, in three modules, and we're building all three modules as separate modules here. And then we're going to construct them as a normal home, erect the house here, practice the seams and everything like that. And then we're going to break it down into those three modules. Um, each one gets its own truck, its own flatbed, double drop, standard truck this year. And um, those three trucks will ship it to uh, Washington, D.C. And then we have four days on the mall to actually construct the house again. So we have to practice intensely on the seams and all of those things here. And then we'll have four days to put the house back into its form. And Hopefully it'll be perfect. <laughs> we're actually building confidence every day, I think. Um, we're expecting to do pretty well this year. We fixed all the holes of 2007 by partnering with the engineer, uh, architecture school. That was our really big downfall, I think, in 2007, was that we had no architecture school, so our design wasn't very integrated. But we've um, we fixed that with the architecture school. We've um, pretty much designed everything to its maximum. Now it's just a matter of can we build it, and can we do it well, and can we do it quick. Um, I think that we've done a really good job of integrating both the engineering and the architecture of the of the house. It's an 800 square foot house, so we're trying to make it the most beautiful house we can for that for that space. Um, the actual shape of the house is going to be pretty interesting this year. It's a tubular shape, um, so it's a long, skinny tube that's in a U shape. And um, actually, you can see it's outlined here. Um, and that's a lot different from many of the houses on the mall. An engineering perfect small house is actually just a box. So Darmstadt, the German team from um, 2007 who won first place, it was basically you know a square optimized to its performance. Ours, we're breaking out of that mold and we're trying to make this U-shaped um, house. It's, it's really beautiful and we're trying to show that there's no sacrificing. Um, you don't have to sacrifice the beauty of your home to get this really well-performing house. We're really excited and I think it's really important to note that we're a group of undergraduate students working on this and it's hard to, I mean, it's hard to really see what we're doing until you actually come out here and see that, you know, it's students building this house, it's students who design this house, students who are putting in all of their time for this house, and we're really, really excited. It's a really great opportunity to see how the real world works um, with the, you know, integration of all these different fields and bringing professionals in and getting to see how they help us is really, really cool. We have a core group of students that's about 30 people who put in about 40 plus hours a week on this project. 
Um, and then we're supported by a bigger network of students. Um, there's about 150 to 200 students working on the project in general um, that get involved with everything from you know, just construction to outreach um, to the design itself. And, and then there's those 30 students who work on every aspect of the house. And they're putting in about 40 hours. So we actually mapped out what you know the giant floor plan to scale of the house, and we've got steel in, so we're going to erect the first module of the house today, which is pretty cool. We're going to put the entire steel frame up with moment frames and everything, um, and it's just the first of three modules, but we'll be finishing the rest tomorrow and the next